All right, everybody, welcome back to yet another tutorial in the Godot, and this time we'll be covering how to export your game project into the engine onto various platforms. Hopefully you appreciate the change in scenery. The, uh, I'm casting a little bit of Smash Brothers over at the SGSU Game Dev channel, so you should check that out. But uh, enough plugging. So when you're exporting a project in the Godot, it's actually rather simple. The first thing that you're going to need are the export templates, which on the Godot download page, the normal page that you would download the engine on, you may find the export templates right here. You're going to click on that, and it downloads them for you. Uh, however, if you want to install them directly in the engine uh, without having to sort of deal with the files, I would recommend just launching the engine and exporting your project from or get, getting the export templates from within the um, within the engine itself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and make I'm going to go ahead and make a new project here that we're going to play around with really fast, and then we're going to export it to. Uh, to a target platform, excuse me. Okay, uh, so the first thing we're going to do here is just, I'm just going to make a random little object here. It's not going to be anything too fancy. We just want to, uh, we're going to focus on exporting here. Obviously, it doesn't matter what your pro what is within your project. Um, but uh, I just want to have something there so we can sort of, so I can show it to you working. So let's say you're at the point where your game project is almost ready like this one is in here. As you can see, when I hit the run, the uh, Godot icons will just cause the mouse cursor. Brilliant gameplay. But in any case, what you would do once you have all of your um, your game is ready for exporting, you simply go up here to the top left and hit project and hit on the magic export button. However, if you add a um, if you add one of these here to the uh, presets here, you'll actually unfortunately notice that the project uh, you'll get an error, and that is because you need to download the export templates. So in order to export a project in Godot, you obviously need the export templates, and to get them, just hop over to the editor in the top left of your screen, uh, and then you're going to click on Manage Export Templates. Uh, now, you may uh, install from file down here, and what this will do is if you already have it downloaded, you just path over to it. Uh, again, it's probably in your downloads folder, and there's a and once you click on it, obviously you will go ahead and do the importing process for you. However, just to demonstrate that uh, you can just download them in here, I'm just going to hit download uh, for the latest version of the export templates. So look mirror, I'm just going to go ahead and click the default one here. And then it downloads. And by the magic of video editing, I will speed this up so you don't have to sit here. the export templates downloaded, you'll see that you have them installed as well because it because it uh, automatically installs them. You don't have to go through the whole installing from file. I think it's a little bit easier, more, a little bit more intuitive. Once you've done that, go back to project and export. And now you're able to add your exports. Uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and use the Windows desktop and the uh, Mac OS X versions. OK. So you have a couple of options here to work with. I'm not going to go too in depth with them because this is a basic exporting tutorial. Um, some texture formatting, a couple of other things, for example, the icon that accompanies your game as well. Uh, when it appears in the uh, tr uh, task tray, I believe that's what it's called in Windows. I'm not sure. Taskbar, taskbar, taskbar. The version of the accompanying name and some other stuff that um, is more legalese and then I'm uh, accustomed to using. So I'm going to go ahead and export it here. As you can see, I already have a version of it. I'm just going to go ahead and overwrite it. Hit OK. And there you have it. I'm going to go do ahead and do the same thing for the export project. And boom, bada boom. Congratulations, you have exported your project successfully in Godot. Now, similarly to 2.1, you'll actually notice that there's a this weird PCK file here that comes with the Windows export. So you actually want to make sure. So you actually want to make sure here that you put um, the PCK the, P, the PCK the PCK file and the exe together, uh, because otherwise it will not function properly or as expected. Uh, I believe I believe this should break it actually if I just do this. If put them separate from each other, yeah, as you can see, uh, it's looking for that uh, pack file, it's not finding it. So make sure that you have include both these together. Uh, there's actually an option to export and zip all of the associated files here. If we go back to export, 
uh, for the Windows version, you can just export all of them together uh, to save you a little bit of time. But uh, I like to just manually do it. The zip file, of course, also contains the oops, contains the dot app that will be used for Macs. I am not using a Mac, so um, I cannot I cannot show you that working. But I show you it does. And there you have it. That's really all exporting is. Just download the file and export the project to the necessary platforms. Really, the only kink there was the uh, make sure that you that ma that you make sure that if you export to Windows, you include all of the necessary files uh, when you're distributing the game. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.